Hello, Dan Giles with Let's Fix It. Yes ma'am, I am the YouTube sensation. Outlet next to the sink doesn't work. Okay, did you check the GFI? It's not a GFI. Well, if it's next to the sink, chances are there is a GFI on it. Well, actually, yeah, I am pretty close to where you are. Okay, I'll come by and take a look. Yes, ma'am. I'll see you soon. Dan here with Let's Fix It. Today's issue, we've got a GFI, or if you want to be technical, a GFCI, that we're having some issues with. So what I want to do is take you through the wiring process of a GFCI, and I'll show you how to wire it right. So let's get started. This particular outlet, from what they're telling me, is not working. So we're going to take our meter and go ahead and verify that we don't have power. And I don't. So what I want to do is come over here to this outlet, which is the GFI. I've already plugged my little tester in it and the, the power is off on the whole thing. So the GFI is tripped. So what I'm going to do is reset it. Now I have my two amber lights on here. And what I'm, what I'm suspecting is a problem is that this GFI might be getting a little bit of age on it, might be getting a little weak. We've probably had years of appliances plugged to it that have tripped it and resetting, tripped and reset, which will weaken it over time. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace this GFI. Of course, the first thing you wanna do is make sure you shut the power off to this circuit. So what I'll do is go ahead and identify which circuit controls that GFI. We got a kitchen GFI, it says number 13. Looks like it's this one. So I'm gonna flip it off and see if our amber lights go off. So now we know our power is off. I'll go ahead and take this all apart, remove the GFI, and we'll get into wiring the new one and I'll show you all those steps and procedures. Yeah, GFIs are pretty good for your your own protection. You, you definitely want to make sure that you're wiring it correctly. Somebody's got the wrong size screw in that. Not a problem. Our new GFI is going to come with a new cover plate. So, and it's got new screws too. So we'll make sure we get the right stuff in there. But as I was saying, the GFI is definitely for your own protection. Usually you're going to find them next to your kitchen sink your bathroom sinks, your bathtubs, things like that. So that way, if, if you do get a short in, a, in an appliance, if you drop an appliance in the water or something like that, this GFI will trip, cutting off power to whatever short item you have or shorted item that you have. Okay, so what you can see you have here, you have two black wires on one side of the GFI, two whites on the other. Now, these wires are very important. What you're going to need to know is which one of the black and white wire that you have here is your power feed. The other black and white goes to the other receptacle that is wired in series with this GFI. So if you notice on this one, it should be line voltage on the bottom. So when you turn it over, look here on the bottom, on the back of the GFI, it says line. So this white and this black are your power. This black and white is your load. 
go into the other outlet attached to the GFI. This is very important. You want to make sure that you're putting your power lines, your line voltage into the line inputs on your GFI. So I'll go ahead and remove this, remove these, unhook my ground, we'll get the new GFI, and we'll go ahead and get this hooked up. All right, so the bottom on this outlet is line voltage. So this is your line on the bottom. And make sure that you work off it and know where you're removing your wires from because you're going to need to know this later down the line. All right, this neutral is from my line voltage. This neutral goes to my load which is the other outlet on the other side of this sink. Go ahead and remove the ground. And that's our old GFI. It's got a little age on it. I think it's probably gotten a little weak over the years, so we definitely want to replace it. So we'll discard that one. So this is our GFI, and if you turn around, you'll see this yellow tape on there. That indicates the load. Now, it's a little different than what the other one was. Load was on the top. So this is where you have to pay really close attention to how you're wiring your GFI. This one has load on the bottom, line voltage on the top. So make sure you're putting line voltage, which is the power that's coming from your breaker panel, to the top of this outlet. So let's go ahead and wire that one in now. Okay, before I get started, what I want to do is make sure that I have line voltage and low voltage. I'm going to turn the breaker back on and I'm going to test these two to see if I have 110 volts on them. That'll verify this is my line voltage. While I'm at it, I'll test these two just to make sure of what we're doing. Double check things. Make sure that you get it wired in the right spot. Alright, so I am almost positive that we got these in the right spot to make sure that we have got 110 volts, 120 volts between these two wires. So I'm going to verify that now. Okay. 117, 118 volts, that tells me that this black and this white are my line voltage. Now to be sure of that, I'm going to go ahead and test these two. I should not be getting voltage, and I do not. So these are my line, these are my load. So I'm going to put that breaker back off. Okay, I'm going to verify that my breaker's off by touching these two. Zero voltage. Now we're ready to wire this outlet. Okay, again, line voltage, it tells you on the back of this. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not. But on the back of the GFI, it says line. This is your line voltage on the top. Also, what you want to remember when you're wiring an outlet, if you're not really sure of where this white wire goes and where that black wire goes, if you have a ground terminal, your ground and your neutrals are always on the same side. So you want to wire white wires, neutral wires, on this side of the outlet and on the opposite side are the blacks. So we're going to slip that behind the screw in the plate, go ahead and secure it. Make sure you got the right size bit on your screwdriver because that makes a difference too. That way you can get a good snug tight fit. If you have an electrician's type screwdriver, it'll come with these little square bits. A lot of outlets are square in the middle there and that'll help you tighten it up even better. You can get a whole lot more traction with that. All right, so now we'll put the black wire in. Let's get 
Slip it in behind the plate that's behind the screw. If you need to give yourself a little bit more room in there, loosen that screw up. There you go. Get you a good tight fit on that. Make sure you got a good connection. This is a Klein 11 in one screwdriver with that little square tip on the end of it. It's perfect for doing outlets. Pick you one up, you won't be sorry. All right, so now we got our line voltage in. Let's go ahead and remove this yellow tape. Now, if you pull your GFI out and you don't have wires on your load, you can take the tape off of this. You're not gonna wire anything to it or you can go ahead and leave it on there. That way, later down the line, if you've gotta do anything with this, it's pretty quick to pick up on it. This is your load and that's your line. So, but we do have continuation wires going to another outlet. So we'll peel that back and get rid of it. Make sure you put your wires where they're supposed to go. Black on the black side, white on the white. Your white's gonna be in line with your ground. Make sure you get a good snug fit on that. Sure you're pushing them all the way down in there. Go ahead and put this white wire in again. Make sure you do what I told you to do on that. Tighten this down good and tight, good and snug. All right, so now we're ready to put our ground on. Looks like this can go underneath that plate. I don't know if you can see that there. So I'm gonna loosen that up a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and straighten this up with a pair of needle nose pliers here. Get that nice and straight. You know, if you don't wire this GFI up correctly, then you're defeating the purpose of having that protection around a water source. So you definitely want to wire it correctly. Let's make sure that stays down in there. good connection on the ground with a good tight connection on all the wires that way everything is gonna work out like it should all right so now we can turn this back up all right so that is the installation of a GFI outlet let's go ahead and put this back in the box This is the time to make sure that you have this straight up and down. This particular GFI came with a new plate, which is nice because the old plate is kind of dingy. It's got some paint on the edges. It's just funky looking. So we'll go ahead and put the new plate on here, screw it in place, and we'll be good to go. One GFI in. So now all we have to do is go ahead and turn the power on and we will make sure that all of our connections are right, which we know they are, and we're good to go. So let's get the power on. I'll put the little tester in and then we'll just, and then we'll wrap this project up. Here's my little test meter. This also has a little trip button on it perfect for testing GFIs. Now, what I want to do is go ahead and plug this in. We'll look for the two amber lights here on this end when we turn the power on. And then what I'll do is we'll go ahead and trip it, reset it. I'll move it over to the other outlet that's connected to this. We'll show power on it, we'll trip it, and then we'll go from there. So let's get the power turned on. All right, now that we got power, we can go ahead and reset. 
Got our two amber lights. I'm going to trip it. Now I'll reset it. And that one's good. But this is where I'm really going to show you something here. Sorry for that. This is the outlet that's connected to that GFI. So I'll go ahead and plug this in. We got power. And I'm going to trip it. So we're working. We reset. And now our power's back on. Now we've got a GFI wired correctly, got a new GFI, and everything is great. Well, there you go. GFI, GFCI, whatever you want to call it. I think you just replaced one. Hey, make sure to check out those videos right there, right here, and hit that subscribe button right up there. You don't want to miss nothing, and I'm coming out with new material every week or every other week, and I want you as part of my community. So be sure to hit that notification bell, smash it, knock it around, beat it up, whatever you got to do. But check out these videos right here. There's a lot of good information there. All right, guys, this is Dan Giles with Let's Fix It. I'll see you soon.